Hey everyone, uh, this is Noshi Asian and it's been more than a month that I haven't created any video on GameRoom. So today this video is specially targeted uh, to those GameRoom users who have been coming and going right now uh, unsubscribing my channel. Don't do that because this channel is not only for you guys. This I created this channel for desired people. Uh, we have been looking for different kind of tutorials like regarding video editing uh, to social media and also regarding app development, a, a website design and also different kind of uh, social experiment, uh, technological experiment. So everything you uh, can find if you have any necessary uh, actions or necessary tutorials you were looking for, you can definitely check this up. So subscribe my channel and go ahead continue watching this video don't forget to subscribe like share comment you can follow my instagram so in this video uh we need to cover that uh, these uh, three topics so basically some of you uh, from king roof already notified me uh some key mapping errors and some of them also face some 120 fps not enabled on their devices and some of them also faced uh, the auto settings issue why we are uh, and tweaking settings from our game loop instead of changing our game settings so these are three topics so we were going to check uh for today's video first one is the key mapping error for key mapping error here's a uh, important notice for all my game loop users so if i open my game loop uh, software going to uh, app market so you'll find this game loop for our app market so let me Start it first, basically. That's time. So you can find your game loop current version from this tree dot and find this to above section is now on latest version. You can also check the update, it's already in latest version. You can see it's a 5.1.1.3.5.90. So make sure your game loop is in right and latest version. So if you're not in the latest version, please do not hesitate backup your main game source from backuping your game source you can find your find it uh your uh, set uh, uh directory so you can see here is a tx10 assistant you can simply visit app market or uh, you can simply visit ui you can easily uh, backup by uh right click on your mouse and you can simply compress or archive or you could paste it uh, somewhere else you can easily back up it or you can simply reinstall it by easily going for, to the game loop site here you can find the game loop from the official site don't download this 32 bit you need to search for the 64 bit you can search here the 64 bit and make sure you download the next version after you have downloaded and installed the correct version you may be uh, not you know face this kind of key mapping error again because I haven't uh, changed anything like i haven't uh follow my uh previous video for uh, customizing the key mapping settings uh specific, specifically manual settings manually so i simply just reinstall my game loop and restore my game so that's the way you can fix the key mapping permanently uh if you want to still uh fix it you can simply open and call TT Mobile. You can see my emulator is not open right now. So simply find your uh, game from the app market and simply press open and you can see the game loop emulator is running. So some of you all also uh, asked me about how we uh, open this two window because this one, the first one, uh, while you search for the game loop, it is the app market, it's not an emulator. Make sure it's not an emulator, it's a uh, kind of list of games uh, it presents over there you can see you can install you can open from here you can uninstall it also so after you have opened you get this kind of uh, emulator window from here this one is the uh, first one so simply you can hit this one back so you can find this clean background you can see it's a clean mobile interface so and uh, someone uh, from my subscriber also asked me how we, uh, I mean, how we have enabled setting and setting app. 
there is no settings came up. So you just simply press F9, make sure it's F9 from your keyboard. Press F9 one time and you can see settings on this screen. So you can simply open settings from here. You can see it's a settings and it's a hidden because uh, develop, uh, developers uh, he doesn't want to uh, know you that you can uh, change any hidden secrets for Call of Duty. So they are just uh, hide it. So make sure press F9 to enable or disable or show or hide the settings. So how to enable this one party FPS? So let me show you uh, the second option or uh, how to enable for some of you guys at this issue. So like our devices, like we are using any tablet or any kind of mobile device, simply scroll down or scroll down to the your selection option of the about tablet where you get this uh, Android version. Uh, Android patch level, baseband version, and build number. So make sure you open setting by pressing F9 from your keyboard. Then select this build number and hit continuously with this mouse key. Left click three times. One, two, three. But it says no need to, you are already a developer because I have already opened my developer account. But first time when you have created or when you have, uh, I mean, start this game loop emulator, you will get three times clickable for the spin number. After you have done clicking this, you can simply back, you can find this back from here. And then you will find this developer options with our uh, very few curly bracket. So you can simply place this developer option. And then you will get this developer option check on. So it's now on, and you need to simply scroll down, or you can simply use the mouse to scroll down. And you need to change some settings. So, first three settings you need to change the animation skills, needs to be off. Then there need to be changed the force GPU rendering down the door. And the final one is a MSA wheelchair. Yeah. This support right now. So make sure it's not enabled. You can see, or you can also change the power settings if it is available from the setting window. So let me see. I don't know if it's available or not. So let's open it. So here we need to find the power option. And then battery option. You can find it batteries. So battery server is currently off shoot off then battery optimization is not optimized let's go hit down okay so there is nothing you need to do with or you have to do it's done now your 120 fps developer option is connected and it's done and the so first one is a key mapping error. After you have successfully installed your game, you can simply visit uh, this one. This one is a key mapping option. And it says that keyboard signal is only enabled when your game is on background. So we are going to simply press our game and enable our key mapping. Here you can see this key, uh, key mapping is simply saved to our normal and default settings you can simply reset and you can check there is no change made it so it means this one is uh, comes with our game loop itself so you need you can uh, change it on your disk but i prefer to reinstall your game to fix key mapping so some of you already asked me that well, key mapping or state in place means uh here we have a scene means crouch so we can simply delete this key and we have to create it again uh, or some of you already have this now movable but it's not movable. so you have to press reset you can delete this and you can recreate and then save it so now I'm closing I'm not going to save it no that does third one is simply an answer it's not a question it's not nothing to show you guys nothing to show you any 
Kem Loop users. The article setting mode. Some of uh, you uh, from my uh, some subscribers also question me why after settings mentioned in this three dots and the three dots settings. So we have this engine settings and we enable these four options. We disable this white instead. And how come we have enable from uh, in uh, game settings? So basically, the answer is so simple. Basically, uh, we have changed. We can change. Uh, any game settings inside the game like FPS scout uh, our resolution which does not affect our game loop itself because game loop is designed differently game loop is completely uh, an emulator and different and independent from any kind of mobile so basically it has different setup so if you change it is to ultra and change to settings to ultra and then you can easily find settings from here in this window. It means these settings only depends on your PC performance. I mean, this game loop or uh, this game, this Call of Duty Mobile, is built for only mobile version. So when you have change, it changes according to your mobile settings or your PC settings. So PC changes, it requires to set manually. So you can change it from here settings, you can find it and you can go to engine. You can change it to OpenGL Plus, I recommend it you for 1050 or 1060 Ti graphics. Then enable these first options and disable these options. You can check to automatic and these options also gives you a file that down uh, here. The lower one, lower and the waste, whatever you do know that, if you select this one it will it can give you up to uh, 140 fps okay so i am currently using 1366 but my monitor supported up to 1920 but this gives me 120 fps this resolution so make sure you have choices to your resolution then set your ppi your know, pixel size our pixel uh, image proceeding to 320 it's a balanced one then you may save and you will go ahead to continue or play games with 120 fps because uh, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to visit other videos also if you are a creator if you are a kind of a video editor social blogger cinema joke graphic, whatever you are you can visit my also watch my videos over there you can find trending videos instagram tweaks anything whatever subscribe now share and stay tuned for more videos thank you guys thank you for watching yeah, stay tuned